front of this big crowd at Ellen Road. from these two in the first round. This was scheduled for eight, been cut to six. Nice little left hook once again from Davy Campbell. Good right two. He has improved an awful lot since I first saw him, Dave Campbell. So Silkson, he's come on. Last time out, Campbell won in the first round against Glenn Shepherd. Prior to that, had a good point run over Sean Norman, who extended Mickey Cantwell. Well, free punching action here in the first round. Not too much in this. South Shields, in case you don't know, up in the northeast of England, near Newcastle and Sunderland. This is a pretty brisk opening round. Both swapping hooks. And Tony Silkson a couple of inches taller than Dave Campbell. I did expect him to use those long punches, but uh, Silkson likes to get in close and have a bit of a war. Very attractive styles, these two. And they're mixing well here. And one of the reasons I think they might be fighting so briskly is because it's so cold for me sitting here inside anyway. As I say, I think I'm the only one without an overcoat. Misjudged that one. Right to the body, left to the head from Campbell. But all the while, Silkson is just popping off those little punches. Head and body. Well, it's quieting down a bit now. Well, the bell ends the first and really not too much in that one. Hard to pick between them. I'll sit on the fence. And the other man that uh, Campbell has beaten was Dave Martin from originally from Wales, but living in Tottenham. I'll take you back to Silkson's career, been a pro now since April of 1990. And the good win he had was on points over six rounds against Kelton McKenzie, who's one of the leading contenders at the moment for the British Super, the British Featherweight, Super Featherweight title, I should say. Also had a good little win over Miguel Matthews, trier from Wales, Esther La Fera. And another good win against the Welshman, Rennie Edwards. Good puncher, Edwards. Go on, Last time out, Silkson beat Eddie Cook on point. And this is round two. So, Tony Silkson, local man in the leopard skin trunks against Dave Campbell from up there in the northeast in South Shields. Managed by John Spensley. Silkson, of course, cornered by Gary Atkin and Terry O'Neill. Good right there from Campbell. And again, followed by a left hook. Nothing in the first round, really, and there's a little bit of a lump underneath David Campbell's left eye. Well, swapping punches nicely. Good match, this. I'm just trying to see if there's any blood around the face of Campbell. He looks quite reddened. But there's no blood. But uh, a testament to those stinging punches from Silkstone. This barring cuts looks like it could go all the way. Oh, 
Oak Ben waiting for the right opportunity to strike, not wishing to overcommit themselves. Good right hand, left hook from Silkson. But there's really nothing in this second round either. Very attractive bantamweight match. And super bantamweight is not recognized in Britain, but uh, possibly will be one day. There was a time, I think, when the cruiserweights weren't recognized in Britain. All the super middleweights, and they're now both in. Tony Silkson, good right there from him in the leopard skin trunks. Dave Campbell, and really nothing to choose between them in this second round either. It's been uh, punctuated with sporadic action. Neither man wishing to overcommit himself. Well, good second round. Plenty of good action there. I'll go even on that one. And uh, David Campbell hit reddened around the face. We're going to take a short break. <laughs> Eurosport. Sportbild News. Hallo Fans. Jeden Mittwoch gibt es mehr vom Sport. Sportbild bringt mehr Namen, mehr Hintergründe, mehr Tatsachen. Jeden Mittwoch große Sportler, große Mannschaften, große Ereignisse in Sportbild. Dazu jeden Mittwoch Gesundheit, Fitness und Freizeit in Sportbild. Und natürlich jeden Mittwoch Tipps und Termine, Tabellen und Resultate in Sportbild. Sportbild. Jede Woche mit dem kompletten TV-Sportprogramm. Sportbild. Die Nummer 1 im Sport. Für 1,30 Mark. Eurosport live. Welcome back then, and you join us for the start of round three. Tony Silkson from Leeds in the leopard skin trunks against the man from the northeast, Dave Campbell. Nothing in the fight really, with two rounds gone. Two snappy, educated box fighters, these two lads. Campbell, 23 years of age. Silkson is a year older at 24. And neither man yet has got the upper hand here. And I think has been told not to get inside and mix it with Campbell. That's where Dave wants it. So Silkson trying to use that long left hand of his and uh, push Campbell back. Campbell needs to try and whack him over the top. Well, I just heard the corner man shout to Silkson, keep him at a distance. I think Dave Campbell, to turn this one around, has got to start going forward and looking for the punch-up. But Silkson's good on his feet. On, on the right there from Campbell, just an inch or two too short. Looks like the, uh, the boxing of Silkstone is going to overcome this bustling approach of Dave Campbell. Campbell hasn't, I don't think, got forward sufficiently to score with enough punches. 
But Silkston doing the right thing here. Refuses to get involved. Although that said, there have been snatches of action where Campbell's put both hands together. Well, once again, at the end, very difficult to separate them. And once again, I'm going to have to sit on the fence in that one. Of course, the referee might have a preference for a standoff boxer. He might also have a preference for a bustling little fighter like Davy Campbell, uh, which will make him sway one way or the other. The referee Tony Green from Sheffield. But uh, for my money, nothing in it. Well, we've had three rounds of brisk action, and we've got three more to come. There's Tony Silkson's corner. And the grease, in case you don't know, on the eyebrows, on the nose, and the chin, is to try and deflect a punch and take the sting out of it, and also the cutting potential, not to make them look pretty. Nice stiff jab there from Tony Silkson. And I'm sure Campbell's corner have said, well, you've got to go forward and try and make this fight. and a half. Well, referee Tony Green has decided Dave Campbell has been too rattled to continue, but a good little fight while that one lasted, but uh, Tony Silkson pulled out a good right hand over the top to finish it. That's 12 on the top for Silkson now. Good win. And the first time he's ever won inside the distance, Silkson. Here we go again. Here it comes, After bang, smack on the chin, good shot. After one minute and two seconds of round four, ladies and gentlemen, with Campbell not in a position to continue, the referee has stopped the contest. The winner, ladies and gentlemen, Tony Silkson. Good win there from Silkson, the first one inside the distance in his career. There you saw it again from the overhead camera. And a good game effort there from little Davy Campbell. In the first three rounds, as I say, very hard to separate them. And then one shot out of the blue from Silkston, smack on the chin. And I think Tony Green was right to stop it then. Silkston would have swarmed all over Dave Campbell if he'd have been allowed to carry on. Uh, charity show in aid of the uh, Philip Green Memorial Trust. 
kick off tonight with a 6 2s back to weight contest facing us. Young lad from South Shields, Dave Campbell, against Dave Martin, based in London, but originally from Cardiff. And these two lads have had one fight apiece, and ironically, they both fought the same man, Mark Hargreaves, and they both lost to him. Campbell lost in four rounds, Martin was outpointed. And that was the debut for the pair of them. So you'd say on paper that uh, Dave Martin has had a slight edge, having lost on points. But uh, Dave Campbell looks in very good physical shape. And Dave Martin, extraordinarily tall for a bantam. Nice right left there from Campbell. He's trained by Harry Escott Sr. Martin by Brian Gilbert, managed by Harry Burgess, our matchmaker this evening. Short right over the top. Campbell. Oh, and a big booming right there from Campbell to the side of the head, but uh, Martin gets on his jab. Sorry about that head in the camera. So a fairly cautious start to this, and I can't blame them. Two lads looking desperately for a win. Once again, that Campbell right hand over the top of Dave Martin's left. Dave Martin needs an uppercut against a shorter man like Dave Campbell. Can he find one? And Dave Campbell conceding every possible physical advantage here to Dave Martin. And nothing really in this opening round, not much left of it now. Well, that's the end of the first, and uh, well, if I was being generous, I would give that first round to Dave Campbell by virtue of the fact that he just seemed to land a couple of more punches than Dave Martin. Martin, a boxing brother Chubby who's on the bill later on. <laughs> Dave Campbell managed by John Spenceley up in the northeast. So round two coming up. Referee for this, Mark Green, a trialist referee. So Dave Campbell, a very narrow winner, I believe, of the opening round. Dave Martin needs to use his boxing skills here and those long arms to pick up the points. Make them miss and make them pay. Once again, Campbell connects with a couple of shots. And that right hand over the top from uh, Campbell. It's quite dangerous with it too. Still catching Dave Martin as he comes in and goes out. Interestingly, paper statistics are oh so unreliable. Nice jab there for Martin, and a right, top of right cross, but uh, once again, Campbell pulls forward, two-handed. Mm. Mm, sorry about that, I'll have to have a word with that table. Well, 
there's not much in this second at the moment. Dave Campbell looking the stronger puncher of the two. And Martin needs to try and clout him on the left and the right as he ducks into those long punches, or low punches, I should say. Hell to end a pretty even second. Two rounds gone, got Dave Campbell, a slight lead. Campbell's trainer, Harry Escott Senior, father of young Harry Escott, one of Britain's leading lightweights. Nice fast puncher, Dave Martin. Need to be as well, nice left there from Campbell, caught him. Not too easy to get a decent picture here with uh, the light quite uneven. Well, Dave Martin has picked up the pace a bit here, but uh, Dave Campbell staying with him. And in the third of a scheduled six twos, bantamweight contest facing us, Dave Martin. Cardiff, boxing out of London, against Dave Campbell from South Shields, and nice right there from Campbell, right to the body too. Well, nothing in this round now. left hand, not too much power behind it, but uh, principally because he didn't stay in there too long, he's going to get caught coming in or going out. <laughs> well, at the end of the third, another pretty even round, I think. Although well, Dave Campbell looking is yet a more eager of the two. stage of this bantamweight contest coming up. There we are, round four. Three gone, three to go. That's right over the top from Campbell. Looking for it again. Martin's going to have to start throwing lots of light, long scoring punches. And Campbell, quite a difficult man to fight. I would suggest he, uh, as I say, he's catching Dave Martin, not only as he comes in, but as he goes out.
Darcy working hard, but still getting tagged. Nothing particularly damaging catching him, but scoring punches nonetheless. I don't think Dave Martin could oh, nice right there from Dave, but I don't think he can quite make his mind up when he's a counter puncher or an attacking fighter. And the day he does, he will be a better fighter. Because he should be throwing out that jab and moving his feet back. That's no fight for Martin. He should really be counter punching solidly, Martin, rather than switching to attack and defence. It's when he goes on the offensive and gets caught. And Campbell made for a counter puncher, really. Although I dare say he's a pretty stiff little puncher. At the end of the fourth, there's really not an awful lot in there around either, but I think. Dave Campbell's taken it by the same margin I gave him the first. Ultimate round. And I've got Dave Martin leading these two for a draw. Although, as I say, I'm quite pedantic about the way I score fights. I'm not too much to be read into it. Neither of them would really argue with the draw. It's been very, very close. And the rounds that I think uh, Campbell has won have just been by a squeak. Well, better work from Martin in his fifth. Dave Campbell possibly just tiring a wee bit. again over the top from Campbell but uh, Martin still boxing quite sweetly here in the fifth Ooh, good left right there for Martin the best combination he's got through with and he fancies it too Oh, a stiff left there from Martin. At the end of a good fifth round there for Dave Martin, I think. He needs to repeat that in the last. Two minutes, round six. And this could all still be to play for. 
And the score will be given by referee Larry O'Connell outside the ring, although Mark Green is controlling things inside the ropes. Dave Martin. And now Martin is counter punching quite effectively. <laughs> well, I can feel a draw coming on. And that would suit me down to the ground as well as these two lads, I'm sure. But it won't be long before they start picking up wins. <laughs> and uh, Dave Campbell was slightly out of distance with his work in the last round and almost in this one as well. Well, that was a nice left from him. Martin needs to match him. right to the body from Campbell. Right over the top again there from Campbell. Well, not a lot in this round, and as I said, I thought Dave Martin might need the last two for a draw. I don't think he's winning this one. I don't think he's losing it either. So he might have to settle for a close points loss. Yep. Dave Campbell. For the young man all the way down from South Shields. Picks up a win in his second professional outing. I had him win that by a single round. But uh, good effort there from Dave Martin. But once again, just out foxed. And uh, tactically fought well in the fifth. And let it slip in that last round, the round he needed. Gentlemen, the referee's score from the Sadiq M. Campbell, 59.5 points. Today, Martin, 58.5 points. I like that one a bit closer, 59.5, 58.5. Uh, Dave Campbell, as I said, was eye-catching going forward. So a good win for him and an unfortunate night once again for Dave Martin.
Make you up, and she, the woman said to me, "We'll."